Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This video, we got a serious case of bugs on this front end on this Ram. Now, a little bit of backstory on this Ram. This truck was just driven through the desert all the way up to Utah. The drive was about 16 hours there and back. Not entirely sure what part of Utah they went to, but I do know for a fact that they went somewhere through the desert and this truck is absolutely filthy. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to clean the bug guitar off the front end of this vehicle. And then we're also gonna give the entire truck just a quick little cleaning and show you guys how to do that. So stay tuned. So before we begin, I wanna start off by cleaning off the bugs on this front end, simply because that's gonna be the dirtiest part of the truck. As you guys can see, this thing has caked bugs on there. You have whole chunks of bugs on there. You have splatter, guts, you have all that good stuff on there. So we're gonna be using our bug and tar remover to go ahead and clean that up. Bug and tar remover, it's our fast acting car wash solution that works out great for breaking down all the bugs and tars that are on the front end or any other parts of your vehicle. Uh, not only is the front end kind of caked with it, but you also have the side mirrors as well. They do have a pretty good concentration of bugs on there as well. So I'm gonna show you guys how to clean those areas. So this product is great because you can either use it as an additive to your soap. So if you have a foam cannon or if you simply wanna put it into a bucket and wash your front end with it, by all means. The way I love using this product is diluting it to a six to one ratio in a secondary spray bottle, spraying the front end, and then I agitate it with my microfiber wheel wedge. Now it's called the wheel wedge, but it works on more than just your wheels. It also works on your paint as well. As you guys can see, it has a nice kind of texture side on one side that helps you pick up those bugs. And then another soft side, a microfiber side, so that if you wanna apply any kind of products such as Maxco wheel guard to your wheels or any kind of tight areas, it's a multi-purpose tool and you can use it for all those applications. So before we start, like I mentioned, we're gonna to have to dilute this product. So I'm gonna take off the sprayer top off my uh, secondary sprayer here, set that down. I'm gonna grab my bug and tire remover, take off that cap on there. And with this right here, you want to dilute it to a six to one ratio. So on this bottle, you have a 20 to one, 16 to one, 10 to one, eight to one. A six to one ratio is gonna be pretty much in between or almost three quarters of that eight to one ratio. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill up my product just a little bit above that eight to one ratio. And that's gonna be equivalent to about a six to one ratio. And then I'm gonna fill up the rest with water. So now that we've finished diluting it, now we can go ahead and put our sprayer top back on it. And we have our ready to use bug and tire mover ready to go to a six to one ratio. So I'm gonna set that down for a second here, and I'm gonna go ahead and give the front end just a light little rinse, just to kind of you know, rinse off any kind of loose dirt, debris, any kind of grime, any kind of bug guts that's on there that's loose so that we have a more filter kind of clean so that we have a less chance of you know, installing any kind of scratches or swirls. All right, so now that we've rinsed off the front end, I don't know if you guys saw, but I try to get up very close just to kind of show you guys that even if I were to put the garden hose nozzle directly right almost onto the surface of the paint and rinse it off, they were still baked on there. Now, the reason for that is because there was no protection on this front end of this truck. So before this whole 16 hour road trip, you know, even before that there was, you know, maybe the owner didn't apply any kind of waxes or sealants or any kind of coatings for the matter, which would have prevented something like this from happening. But unfortunately it did happen. So we're gonna go ahead and gonna have to clean it up. So now that we've rinsed off most of the loose kind of dirt, debris and grime and stuff, we're gonna grab our bug and tire remover and we're gonna spray the front end. Now this product is so great. All you have to do is pretty much spray it down. And the reason I like using this product is not only does it work great at breaking this stuff down, but it also does have a slickness to it so that whenever I use my microfiber wheel wedge on there to clean it up, it's gonna work out great so that I don't scratch up the surface of the vehicle. So now that we've sprayed a coat of the bug and tar remover onto the front end, it's time to start agitating it. Now I'm using the wheel wedge right here and remember, it does have a nice textured kind of surface on one side. So if you check it out, it has like this kind of textured kind of groove, which works out amazing at pulling contamination off the surface of your paint, but it's still smooth enough to be safe to be used on your paint, your glass, 
your headlights, your plastics, all that stuff. So not only did I spray it on the paint, but I also sprayed it on like the grill, the plastic grill, the headlights, and all those other plastic trim around the surface of the front end. So I do have a bucket in front of me here with just a little bit of water and the dirt trap. And that's just so that I can kind of, you know, scrub my, my wheel wedge onto there to kind of remove any kind of bugs and grime that gets collected on there. As you guys will see, while I'm doing it, you'll see a lot of those bug guts kind of end up on this. So I'm gonna kind of scrub it on the, on the dirt trap while I'm doing it to kind of have a more filtered and not go back and forth with the same bug that's on the actual you know wheel wedge itself so now that i'm gonna do that i'm gonna get started here i'm gonna spray the wheel wedge itself just to get some added lubrication spray a little bit more product and all i'm gonna do is gently glide left and right just as if you're washing your car and this is going to go ahead and break down all that bug guts that's on the surface of your paint here, if you guys see right here it just pretty much erases it from the surface of your vehicle and it gets stuck on your wheel wedge here if you check it out, you have a lot of bugs right there. You have a lot of stuff right there that gets collected. Now, the reason I have this dirt trap here, like I mentioned, is to kind of clean this out as I'm doing this throughout the process. So what I do here is I get my wheel wedge, I stick it in, and I just simply scrub it to the bottom. And that's gonna pretty much remove any kind of loose dirt, debris, grime, and any kind of bug guts that accumulate on my wheel wedge here itself. Check it out. No more bugs, it's filtered, it's clean. Now I can go back to the vehicle and I have to worry about scratching up the paint. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue with cleaning up the front end to show you guys those final results. All right guys, and there you guys have it. So we just finished wiping down the surface, we rinsed it off, and as you guys can see, all those bugs are no more. So if you look inside my bucket, you can see that all those bugs, all that stuff that was on there, it's now in my bucket. Remember, I was using the wheel wedge with the filtered mesh right here that pretty much filtered all those bug and tar into this little mitt right here. And I filtered it through my dirt trap in my bucket so that I wasn't going back and forth and scratching up the paint. You know, one of the main reasons that I think I forgot to mention and why you wanna go ahead and clean these bugs off your front end is it doesn't just look ugly, but it can also be very, very harmful to your paint. As you can imagine, all these bugs, they have acids and stuff in their bodies. So all that stuff, it stays on the surface of your paint. And if you let it sit there, all that bug splatter, it's gonna start etching the surface of your paint, potentially staining it and even causing clear coat failure. So you wanna make sure to wipe off and clean off all these bugs as quick and as efficiently as possible because you wanna go ahead and protect your investment. You wanna make sure that your paint doesn't go bad. So clean them out as soon as possible and you shouldn't have a problem. So now that we've finished cleaning the front of the truck, it's time to focus on the rest of the truck. Now, as you guys saw, we did pretty much end up kind of getting water all over the place, but it's perfectly fine because we were planning on washing the truck anyways. So we're gonna be using citrus washing gloss to wash the truck. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my two buckets set up. I'm gonna clean out these bugs so that we can get ready for the wash. All right, guys, so before we get into washing the truck, I wanna share something with you guys real quick. You guys saw all the bugs and stuff that was floating in the water. Now you guys saw I also had a dirt trap in there. I'm gonna show you guys the reason why you should have a dirt trap whenever you do this process or whenever you wash your car in general. Check this out. I've already pretty much, you know, threw out most of the water. I'm gonna remove the dirt trap. As you guys can see, all that pretty much, the surface water that was in there, we dumped it out. But this is what I really wanna show you guys. When I take off my dirt trap, check out all that stuff. Now, before I started this video, I cleaned out the bucket because I wanted to make sure to show you guys these amazing results of what the dirt trap can do for you. It filters out all that dirt, grime, and particles through the dirt trap so that it filters all that stuff so that you're not going back and forth with that same stuff that's at the bottom of the bucket back onto your truck, back and forth, and scratching it all up. So that's why you should always, always, always wash and use a dirt trap during your wash process. All right, guys, we're back. Our buckets are clean and we're ready to start washing the truck. Now we're gonna be using our foam blaster today just because I already had my garden hose nozzle connected. So I figured, hey, you know what? May as well take advantage of, you know, the convenience of having that plugged in and just, you know, fill up my foam blaster and get foam in the car. So before we do that, I'm gonna be using our citrus wash and gloss soap. The reason I'm using this soap is because it's a citrus based soap that's gonna do wonders for breaking down the heavy dirt and grime and also offer us that super, super slick lubrication to safely wipe down the surface without installing any kind of scratches or swells. So the way I love using this is, I'm gonna open up my foam blaster here. 
I'm gonna take off the top as well so that I can put my soap in there. Now with the vehicle like this, since it's a little bit more on the dirty side, I'm gonna apply about two ounces, which is equivalent to about two good squirts. So I'm gonna go one and two. So two squirts and that's all. I'm gonna grab my foam blaster nozzle here, go ahead and hook that back on. Give that a little stir, just kind of mix in the product with the water and we're good to go. So I'm gonna set that down. I'm gonna give the car a little pre-rinse. I know we've already kind of rinsed the front end of the vehicle, but we're gonna rinse the whole truck all the way to the back, remove any kind of light dirt and debris, and then we're gonna to go to the foaming process. Alright guys, so we just finished foaming up the truck. Now it's time to go ahead and wipe it down with our wash mitt. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and set up my bucket here. I'm going to grab my citrus washing gloss and I'm going to apply about an ounce to my wash bucket here. So that's pretty much equivalent to one ounce and one good squirt. And once that's set up, I'm just going to get in my nozzle here and just activate those suds. Alright, now that we have that going on, I'm going to go ahead and put my wash mitt on. and I'm going to dunk it into my soap bucket here. It's going to collect that nice lubrication and suds and then I'm going to go ahead and proceed with cleaning the truck. I'm going to start off with the hood. As always, whenever you're washing your truck or whenever you're washing your car, you want to make sure that you're working in straight linear motions. This is going to prevent the chance of any kind of dirt or grime that's on my wash mitt to inflict any kind of swirl marks or scratches. So make sure to go up and down, left and right, whatever your preference is, just make sure to work in straight motions. And I always work from top to bottom. So usually what I'll do with these trucks is I'll try to wash the front end, a little bit of the sides, and then I'll wait to come to the lower end of the truck once I'm done cleaning the top ends of the truck. So now I'm gonna come back to my rinse bucket here. I'm gonna go ahead and wring out my wash mitt here. That's gonna wring out any kind of loose dirt and debris that's in the wash mitt. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put it just into my bucket, just like with the bug and tar remover and with our wheel wedge. We're simply gonna scrub the surface of the wash mitt onto the dirt trap itself, and that's gonna release any kind of dirt and grime that's in the fibers of the mitt. Bring that out, go back to your soap bucket, collect some more cleaning suds, and then proceed with the rest of the truck. Now I'm gonna proceed with cleaning the rest of the truck, gonna rinse it off, dry it, and show you guys these final results. Right, guys and there you guys have it the final result on the truck as you can see it's nice and squeaky clean we got rid of all those bugs on the front end we give the truck a full deep washing and citrus washing gloss the truck looks brand new again and ready for another road trip remember i told you guys at the beginning of the video that there's a way to prevent bug and tar from accumulating on your front end and making your life much more easier to clean up and maintain so i'm going to show you guys how to apply a sealant to the truck get it protected get it shiny and give it everything we need to get it ready for another weekend road trip if you guys like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up and or if you liked any of the products that we used today, make sure to also give us a thumbs up for that. If you guys do want to happen to pick up any of these products that we used today, make sure to visit our website, chemicalguys.com. My name is Joey. This is Chemical Guys Detail Garage. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs>